Hello, I'm Greg. Welcome to my channel, Midnight Oil Software, and a follow-up video on how to use the new Unity Input System to control pitch, yaw, roll, thrust, and fire in my 3D Space Shooter tutorial. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how we can use the new Unity Input System to add gamepad or Xbox controller support. So this is for my 3D Space Shooter tutorial, which you can see here. We're looking at my player ship, and you can see I'm currently using desktop movement controls and desktop weapon controls. We'll look at those in a second, but if we scroll down, you'll see I added the player input component. That is the input component for the new Unity input system. Now, I did in the last video create this input action asset, which we're not even using, and we're still not going to use it, but I'm just going to show you how you could use it if you wanted to. If we go and we look in the input folder here and look at that player input asset component, you can see we've got three actions defined here, not including UI actions, but we have three actions here for player. They're move, look, and fire. Move and look are both vector two values. And if we look at the bindings for move, you can see among the keyboard controls, it's also using the left stick or gamepad, which is what we're going to use. So if we wanted to use the action maps, what we would do, if you scroll down here, you can see that the behavior is set up to be send messages. So essentially any script that's on this component could receive an on move, on look, or on fire um, callback method. Um, I would probably have to create an addition one for fire secondary that would look at the other trigger if I was going to do that. But that's how I would do it if I was going to use the action input assets. Now, we're not doing that, so how are we gonna do it? Well, let's go look at our desktop movement control script, and let's scroll down here. You see right now we're looking at mouse.current.position read value. We're also looking at keyboard.current.q key is pressed, E key is pressed, or we're looking at the W key or S key for thrust. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new class, public class, and we're gonna call this gamepad movement controls and github copilot thinks it knows what i want and let's see um, it is close so for y'all we're going to use the right stick x so left and right on the x will yaw us left and right um, for pitch we're using the y value on the right stick but we don't want this multiplying by negative one essentially i am flipping the axis on this so when i push the stick forward i pitch down when I pull the stick back, I pitch up. For roll, we're using the left stick X, and this I do want to multiply by negative one. Um, so when I move the stick left, we'll roll left. When I move the stick right, we'll roll right. And for thrust, we're using the left stick's Y value. I am going to move this into its own folder. And no, I don't want to add you to source control. Let's go look at the desktop weapon controls. We're currently looking at mouse current left button or right button. Let's create a new class here, public class gamepad weapons. And this is exactly what we want. Gamepad.current.right trigger is pressed or left trigger is pressed. Let's move it into its own file. No, don't want to put it in source control. Let's go over to Unity and we're going to have to do a little bit of changes in here to actually wire this up. So we let it recompile. Let's, under player controls here, I'm gonna create an empty game object. I'm going to call this game pad movement controls. And I am going to duplicate that and I'm going to rename it to be game pad weapon controls. For the gamepad movement controls, I'm going to move the gamepad movement control script onto it. And for gamepad weapon controls, move the gamepad weapon control script. We're almost there. Let's go back to our player ship. In here, where we're using desktop movement and desktop weapon, we're going to use gamepad movement and gamepad weapon. So if we go ahead and hit play, I've got my controls here. I'm going to push my right stick forward and I pitch down, I pull it back, I pitch up. You can see I'm yawing left and right. I am rolling left, I am rolling right, 
I'm going to push that forward and I'm thrusting. And I can fire. Let's see if I can launch a missile. Yes. So there we go. Just that simply we have added controller support using the new Unity input system. I hope you found that useful. And if you did, do me a favor and click that like and subscribe button. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. And I want to get this content in front of as many people as possible so they can benefit from this knowledge. And be sure to check out my Highland Panic game. It's available for the PC on Steam, the uh, Apple iPhone on the Apple App Store, and Android on Google Play. Be sure to hop over to my Discord server if you have any questions or comments. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks so much for watching and good luck on your game development journey.